Here's some news. President Trump wants more credit for his great job with Puerto Rico, but also warns them that he can't help forever because they've got financial problems. So he's going to give them a $5 billion loan because the definition of relief is crippling debt. But he also doesn't want us to talk about it because he thinks everyone's unfair and the media should be nicer and is partisan. Even though after saying that, he immediately went on his friend Sean Hannity's show where it was announced they would not include bipartisan questions. So I guess we just... We just won't talk about them today. All right, let's be fair. We're going to be balanced. And instead, talk about the left and liberal Hollywood and the entertainment industry and a rich man using his power and influence to take advantage of, harass, assault, and abuse women. I get it. All right, I know what you're trying to do, but like... I get it, all right, but, but let's move on, all right? We're definitely not going to talk about him again in the context of this topic. I promise. So here's some news. Media mogul Harvey Weinstein has been accused of a lot of just disgusting abuses of power and taking advantage of young women and jerking off into plants and just, just lots of stuff. Don't want to describe it all. Pretty, pretty gross and upsetting. So instead, here's a quick round of Petty Joke Junction. Harvey Weinstein, you look like a discontinued McDonald Land character. Harvey Weinstein, you look like a teamster questioned in Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. Harvey Weinstein, you look like a suspect in a true crime Netflix documentary starring Steve Bannon. If I tried to write a movie about a sweaty, fat movie producer who lured young women into his hotel and sexually assaulted them, producers would say it's too on the nose. But if I wrote that same movie and was a woman, Harvey Weinstein would rape me. Harvey Weinstein looks like a police sketch of the richest duck in the world. Harvey Weinstein perpetually looks like his own face just found out about what he's done. And he's just one of many. And even though Tucker Carlson tweeted, Hollywood is corrupt, the powerful prey upon the weak, and nobody is held accountable. Hashtag Tucker at Fox News. This isn't just a Hollywood problem, as evidenced by at Fox News. It's not a left or a right problem, it's everywhere. It's a men problem and a power problem. And whenever sexual assault comes up, there are a lot of questions. Why didn't these women come forward earlier? Are some of them lying? Why did they let this happen in the first place? Why don't women speak out more? Which brings us to our new, brief, and hopefully one-time segment, Shut the fuck up, develop empathy, read a book, and listen to a woman. There are so many reasons. It's hard to come forward, especially in an industry that can punish and shame you for speaking out. There's guilt, self-worth. It's traumatic to relive it. You question whether it was your fault. You question your own value. You don't know what to do. It's scary to accuse powerful men of things. You don't think people will believe you, and you don't want to be attacked for speaking out. You know if you do, ghouls might publish something like this. Those aren't even all the reasons, and it's so frustrating that at this point we even need to discuss that part, or point to the fact that yes, even Terry Crews can be sexually harassed and not know what to do or say about it. A lot of guys might think, but well, why did she even let it happen? Fight or flight, you know? Fight or flight? Well, fight or flight are actually only two-fifths of the reactions people have when they're afraid and going through trauma. The others are friend, which we learned first as babies, freeze, and flop. They're all natural reactions to these situations, and if you don't understand why someone might not do the one you would do, go do the name of this segment. Also, scientists have found that men tend to react with fight or flight and women with friend or freeze. So the next time you're like, finally, she's into this, after pressuring her into it, fucking cool it, man. Cool it. So we can talk about all the brave women who've come forward and shame those who haven't, but they've done their part and shouldn't have had to. And the industry's done its part to silence them, despite Weinstein's behavior being an open secret for decades. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> through HR departments, through, but he's a nice guying them, through NBC trying to kill the story, through court settlements. It happened at Fox, it happened with the president. Ooh, the president, all right. That's right, the president's ex-wife Ivana claimed that after a botched hair surgery, Trump came home furious, ripped some of her hair out of her scalp, and violently forced himself on her. Now, many of you men might be saying, but news person, she took it back later. But actually, what she took back was the word rape. She said she wouldn't describe it as rape in the criminal sense. She's never taken back the account of what happened.
That's our president. But hey, join the club, I guess, of men who have not paid for their actions. But Weinstein, at least, has been removed from his company and is traveling out of the country for rehab for his sex addiction, which is a fun way to say fleeing the country for rape. But how did he really get away with this for so long? Like, did nobody know? Hard to believe, considering the phrase open secret is used so much in relation to it. Hard to believe that nobody knew. But that's what you'd have to think, seeing as how every single statement from A-list actors is about how appalled they are to hear these stories, which they didn't know about. Ben Affleck, for example, said as much, although then Rose McGowan, one of Harvey's victims, who was silenced by a settlement and has since been silenced by Twitter for speaking out, pointed out to Ben that at her press conference about Weinstein's harassment, Ben told her, God damn it, I told him to stop doing that. So apparently he knew, told him to stop, found out he hadn't, kept knowing, time passed, and then lied about never knowing. And there's no way he wasn't the only one. So, special offer. To the first A-list actor who says, I knew because we all knew and we did nothing, gets a single Oreo. It's mini. It's only mini. Congratulations, and good luck to you all. And the first A-list actor to say, I do it too, and so does my brother, gets to stop being Batman, because Ben Affleck is the subject of many accusations of using his position of power to grope young women, as is his brother Casey, because... When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the Though, to be fair, the Batman apologized for one of his accusations. Though, to be really fair, and to quote Rose McGowan, Ben Affleck, fuck off. Which brings us to fun Petty Joke Junction again. Ben Affleck, you look like a Halloween mask of Luke Perry. Ben, since I had daughters, I learned to see women as people Affleck, looks like a substitute teacher who eats lunch in the cafeteria with all the students. Ben Affleck, whose last big thing was how sad he looked about Batman sucking, is what happens when a neck becomes a whole person. Not only is Ben Affleck bad at blackjack, but he also is the kind of guy who cares that he's bad at blackjack. Ben Affleck, you look like a Ken doll f***ed a Lego. And if Ben Affleck and Matt Damon and all these actors knew about it but did nothing and won't even admit that, fuck them. They're rich, they'll be fine. There are so many more talented people available to be movie stars who don't do this shit. And maybe power and money will change those people as money and power so often and easily do. But holy hell, get your house in order, dudes. You win an Acti Award and then you give a long impassioned speech about how Trump sucks, but like, we know. Trump sucks, and Hollywood liberals going off on him on the night where they celebrate each other is not necessary. You know what you could do that would be powerful and important? Win an award, and then in front of all of your colleagues, protest the disgusting open secrets in your industry. Use your platform in a way that would actually be effective. Stop doing PSAs and interviews where you talk about needing gun control, and instead, stop making movies where you look like a badass with a gun. You influence the culture with your art, so like, do that. Talk about the disgusting, powerful people taking advantage of young women. Win an award, and then talk about the child abuse that Corey Feldman's talked about for years, that Judy Garland talked about for decades. The child abuse about which there's a whole documentary literally called An Open Secret. Because everybody knows, and we know you know. So say it, and fix it. Because Weinstein's not the last one to be exposed, which is to say he's not the last one to be known about for decades until the official acceptable amount of dozens of women are finally believed. Be honest, liars. As sad as it is to say, one of the most honest men who've spoken about Weinstein is, again, sorry, the president, who said, I've known Harvey for a long time. I'm not at all surprised to see it. Mm. I wonder why a rich, powerful man with a history of sexual harassment charges wouldn't be surprised about his friend Harvey's behavior. Probably wasn't surprised about Bill O'Reilly either, or Roger Ailes. Probably won't be surprised about Sean Hannity. Though, to be fair, let's allow Sean to defend himself by showing how he talks to women in public. There's a really hot looking chick in the third row there. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'll take you backstage to meet Hank a little later if you want. <laughs> you want to meet me later? And I'm sure that public display is in no way indicative of his behavior in private. Which brings us to, fuck yes, Petty Joke Junction again. Sean Hannity, you look like a Muppet guidance counselors use to teach children about divorce. Sean Hannity, you look like a Little League coach who starts his son as pitcher every game. Sean Hannity looks like one of those guys who's never eaten 
pussy and is somehow bizarrely proud of that fact. Fun fact, Sean Hannity goes to Supercuts and asks for the Frankenberry's ghost. Sean Hannity still has to physically plug his nose whenever he jumps into a pool. Sean Hannity has never had a consensual conversation. Sean Hannity has a pair of rollerblades that he has never opened. Sean Hannity, you look like a cardboard cutout of Ben Affleck got Dorian grade. Anyway, back to the good president and his apparent knowledge of at least Harvey Weinstein's behavior. Mr. President, in the interest of draining the swamp, it would be great if you could call out other people about this kind of thing, because men need to call each other out for this and support and believe women. You've been accused of this. Louis C.K. has been accused a lot of jerking off in front of young female comics and locking the door so they can't leave. It's, yes, an open secret. Michael Bay makes underage girls audition in bikinis. Brian Singer's been accused by underage boys. There are lots of them. Jeff Epstein is a rich, powerful man who is also a pedophile and who notoriously flew rich men on the Lolita Express. One passenger on the flight logs is Bill Clinton, rapist. Donald Trump is friends with Epstein too, saying of the pedophile, quote, I've known Jeff for 15 years. Terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. No doubt about it, Jeffrey enjoys his social life. Hmm. Sounds like you know more than you're letting on, Mr. President. So lead the way, Mr. President. As we've been told by the dumbest motherfucker on the planet, nobody respects women more than you do. Do we have a clip of that? Nobody respects women more than I do. Oh, it was you the whole time. You're the dumbest mother on the planet. But if it's true and nobody respects women more than you do, then be the Rose McGowan you want to see in the world. Actually, not the one you want to see, because that version's probably on the younger side, you know? Thanks for watching that video. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click the C in the middle. And if you want to get notifications when we have new videos, click the bell icon. Here are all the things that happen every hour in the news. And you can only pick so many things because there's too much. So don't forget about Puerto Rico, don't forget about healthcare, and don't. Oh, oh, oh!